The Nikon Z8 II is rapidly becoming one of the most talked about mirrorless camera releases of 2025, with rumors and leaks painting the picture of a powerhouse update that could significantly shake up the high-end full-frame market. As the successor to the critically acclaimed Nikon Z8, which was essentially a mini Z9 packed into a more compact and affordable body, the Z8 II is rumored to take everything that worked in the original and push it to the next level. Positioned between the flagship Z9 and the upcoming Z63, the Nikon Z8 II is expected to strike a perfect balance between performance, size and price, making it a compelling option for professional photographers, hybrid content creators and filmmakers alike. One of the most exciting potential upgrades involves the inclusion of global shutter technology, which would eliminate rolling shutter distortion entirely, allowing for clean capture of fast-moving subjects without any image warping. If Nikon does implement a global shutter, likely in a stacked CMOS configuration, it would mark a significant technological leap, positioning the Z8 II as one of the most advanced mirrorless cameras on the market, capable of delivering near-instantaneous readout speeds, blackout free shooting, and perfect sync with high-speed strobes at any shutter speed. Beyond the shutter system, the sensor itself is expected to receive an upgrade. While the original Z8 featured a 45.7 megapixel stacked CMOS sensor, the same as the Z9, rumors suggest the Nikon Z8 II could either maintain this resolution with improved performance or introduce a new sensor in the 50 to 60 megapixel range. Either way, enhanced dynamic range, improved low light sensitivity, and better heat management are likely to be central focuses. The camera is also expected to feature the next generation XP processor or a dual processor setup to support higher data throughput, faster buffer clearing, and smarter computational features. Autofocus is another area where major gains are anticipated. Building on the already impressive subject detection system in the Z8, the Nikon Z8 II is rumored to incorporate advanced AI-powered autofocus algorithms, possibly with machine learning capabilities that adapt over time. Users could expect faster eye and face tracking, better detection of animals, vehicles, and even more complex subjects like birds in flight, athletes in motion or performers on stage, all with greater stickiness and reliability. In terms of burst speed, the Z8 already offered 20 frames per second in RAW and up to 120 FPS in 11MP JPEG. The Z8 II could push even further if global shutter and a faster processor are part of the equation, possibly delivering raw bursts at 30 or even 40 fps without blackout. This would appeal tremendously to sports and wildlife photographers who rely on capturing the perfect moment in split seconds. Buffer depth and card speed will be crucial here, and the camera is expected to maintain dual card slots, one for CFexpress Type B and one for XQD or SDUHS2, supporting the high-speed write speeds necessary for large raw sequences and 8K video recording. Speaking of video, the Nikon Z8 II could be a hybrid creator's dream tool. The original Z8 already pushed boundaries with internal 8K 60p in NRAW and 4K 120p with full pixel readout. The Mark II may take this further by adding internal 12-bit PRAWS RAW HQ, 16-bit external RAW output, and more advanced waveform, vectorscope, and lute support, enabling filmmakers to shoot cinematic content straight out of the camera with minimal need for post-processing. Additionally, if a global shutter is included, it will revolutionize motion capture by eliminating the dreaded jello effect in fast-moving shots and removing the need for mechanical shutters altogether. This would make the Z8 II particularly appealing for high-end video production, aerial cinematography, and gimbal work, where precision and distortion-free frames are critical. Color science and picture profiles are also expected to be refined. Nikon has made significant strides in this area recently, and the Z8 II could include updated versions of N-Log, HLG, and new creative profiles for filmmakers looking for distinctive visual aesthetics without extensive grading. Autofocus during video recording is also rumored to be improved, with better subject switching and more natural focus transitions, ensuring cinematic quality rack focusing and smoother vlogging experiences. Another expected area of improvement is in heat management. While the original Z8 had some thermal limitations when recording long sessions of 8K or high frame rate 4K video, the Nikon Z8 II is likely to include a more efficient internal cooling solution. Perhaps not active fans like the Canon R5C or Panasonic S5 IIX, but improved heat dissipation through better chassis design 
and thermal throttling algorithms. This would allow for longer recording times and more reliable performance in challenging conditions, which is essential for professional use. In body image stabilization IBIS will naturally carry over and could be refined to offer up to 8 or 8.5 stops of stabilization, rivaling the best in the market. This would be particularly useful for handheld telephoto photography, low light shooting and dynamic run and gun filmmaking. Paired with Nikon's excellent vibration reduction in lenses VR, the ZA2 could deliver butter smooth handheld video even without external rigs. The physical design of the camera is expected to remain mostly similar to the Z8, robust, weather sealed, and built around a rugged magnesium alloy chassis. That said, minor ergonomic improvements may be introduced, such as a deeper grip, larger buttons, and potentially a redesigned control layout for quicker access to custom functions. Nikon may also add a slightly larger and brighter fully articulating LCD, ideal for vloggers and solo creators, along with a higher refresh rate electronic viewfinder EVF, possibly at 9.44 million dots with 120Hz or even 240Hz for a crystal clear, lag-free viewing experience. Connectivity is another area ripe for enhancement. The Nikon Z8 II will likely feature Fulpwe V6 and Bluetooth 5.2 capabilities for faster wireless transfers, tethered shooting, and real-time image uploads. USB-C with power delivery and high-speed data transfer, full-size HDMI output, and possibly even built-in Ethernet over USB will appeal to studio shooters and live broadcasters. Nikon may also expand its webcam functionality and live streaming capabilities, turning the Z8 II into a viable tool for high-end content creators and remote production environments. Battery life is expected to see a modest bump, either through a more efficient processor or firmware optimization, still based on the NEL15C battery, though a grip option with dual battery support could be offered for those needing extended endurance. On the software side, the Z8 II could introduce expanded custom shooting banks, better touch menu interaction, and deeper integration with Nikon's SnapRidge and NX Studio software. A newly designed UI could make navigating menus more intuitive, especially during hybrid shooting where users frequently jump between stills and video. Pricing for the Nikon Z8 II is expected to sit slightly above the original model's launch price of around $3,999 likely in the $4,299 to $4,499 range, justified by the potential inclusion of global shutter, AI enhancements, and professional-grade video features. This positions it competitively against rivals like the Canon EOS R5 Mark II, Sony A9 III, and Panasonic Lumix S1H2, while still undercutting flagship models like the Nikon Z9 or Canon R1. Its primary appeal lies in combining flagship-level performance with a more compact and manageable form factor, making it attractive to both professionals and high-end enthusiasts who don't need the integrated vertical grip of a Z9 but still want uncompromised power. In terms of market strategy, the Nikon Z8 II is a critical release for Nikon. It reinforces the company's commitment to professional mirrorless users and signals its intent to stay at the forefront of innovation in hybrid imaging. If Nikon successfully executes on the rumored features, particularly the global shutter and advanced AI autofocus, it could give the company a significant edge in a market where Canon and Sony continue to push boundaries. For still photographers, the Z8 II promises unbeatable image quality, lightning-fast performance, and flawless capture of decisive moments. For videographers, it could offer cinema-level features in a compact mirrorless body that doesn't require a separate rig. Ultimately, the Nikon Z8 II is not just a refinement of an already excellent camera. It could be a redefining tool that resets the bar for what's possible in the mirrorless category. With top-tier resolution, cutting-edge tech, and robust hybrid capabilities, the Nikon Z8 II is shaping up to be one of the most exciting and well-rounded cameras of 2025. Whether you're a working professional, a hybrid shooter chasing quality, or a filmmaker needing reliability and power, this upcoming release is one to watch very closely.